Well, both this helicopter and one beside it are made by Bell Aircraft Company, which both all the, the Hueys were, which is UH-1 utility helicopter. Uh, the larger size, the H model, was normally a troop carrier, because naturally it would hold more. The smaller one, troop carrier and gunship also. We have a, normally have a door gunner, sometimes one on each side. Um, as primarily a troop carrier to deposit the troops into the battle zone and then to retrieve them in rapid order. Uh, would be a dozen of these or so, uh, just one right after the other, as many wide as they could get in the landing area, dropping off the troops. And, and also a rapid distraction, if they had to pick them up in a hurry, they should always on standby to move one way or the other. And then of course the smaller one, which was the metal back, uh, saved a lot of lives. It, uh, get the casualties off the field and into the aid center as soon as possible, and uh, helicopters were the thing to do. That type of warfare in the jungle couldn't have happened without these in the mass that uh, the troops were deployed. There were areas where they would go in and with one large big bomb, drop it, and that would devegetate the area, blow, trees and everything was gone. And that way it made a landing zone where the helicopters would get in and drop the troops off. Uh, for that type of warfare, it was necessary. But command pilot sits on the left-hand side, just the reverse of a fixed-wing aircraft. And he's got visibility straight down to below the rudder pedals of the ground, and then the troops in the back. And the gunners, they use door gun machine guns, in 60s or light thir heavy 30s, and not. This is a, that was a, one of the first televised wars, and it was recognized by battlefield helicopters on most most nightly news and have some shot of something like that. So I would say they were the most recognizable thing from Vietnam War, without a doubt. Could you um, 